if she just broke up with you and it's breaking every single moving piece of bones in your body till it aches, I completely understand, but I want to make it a point that you have a choice right now and you're probably just making the wrong one. Hello, welcome to Men's Mental Health Institute. Before you stop me on my tracks, I know I'm a woman, so you may not have had the best experience when it comes to therapy, um, but I'm here to kind of change that route because essentially men's mental health is under attack and it's very important that we have a service of therapy that fits directly with how you perceive and view this world. If you're going through a breakup and you're trying to understand how to navigate through this maze, you can't stop thinking about her every waking moment and spent thinking about what you can do to get her back or trying to let go of a woman essentially that you know isn't good for you, watch this video right now because by the end of this video, I'm going to give you four very important blind spots that you have to start reflecting on and looking into because more than likely, these are the blind spots that's preventing you from actually moving on or understanding essentially how to solve some of the blind spots that you've fallen into and why it's making you feel like you are not really worth it or worthless to her. If you haven't already, please do me a favor. I'm trying to grow this platform, create a community of an army of men who essentially will fight for each other's mental health, not just focus on go to the gym, work hard, play hard, and screw women they'll come if they come most of the times i know the very genuine genuine craving for all humans on this earth men and women alike is that genuine emotional connection based on loyalty respect and trust that a lot of the times ends up being one of the hardest aspects of life to achieve and so what i'm trying to do is essentially close the gap between men and women so there's beautiful families or beautiful relationships that come out of it no matter where you're from how rich you are how poor you are you can do this it's very important to understand that you are the moving puzzle to everything in life so do me a favor if this is what you want to learn and you want to learn how to improve yourself as a man and feel more powerful in the skills that you want to build to create genuine connection without feeling like you have to sacrifice your needs as a man, drop the comment down below, explain to me why you're here, what brought you here, what struggles you're going through, and what criticism even you have about what I'm talking about or what you don't understand. I always try my best to read through all the comments and really give my thoughts, so drop the comment down below Hit the subscribe button and give this video a like and here I'll begin. First and foremost, if you're here because you just got through a breakup or maybe it's been a year since you broke up with her and you can't stop thinking about her, every waking moment, every inch of your body still yearns for her connection. I understand, but first off, I need to congratulate you. I'm not trying to put salt on the wound or anything but welcome to the rites of passage of human life heartbreak and most of the times when it comes to heartbreak for men many of the times i hear from my clients that heartbreak or a relationship breakdown is not so much sadness but more that you feel like you failed as a man and many of the times why i want to congratulate you or even tell you to congratulate yourself because for once in your life, or maybe for the first time in your life, or maybe a couple times, right? You managed to fail at something that you have no idea why you failed. So what this does to you as a man is essentially it attacks your inner being. And it makes you confused about who you are as a person, what you stand for, why trying so hard still wasn't enough and so in a way i want to congratulate you on feeling this way because many of the times that shows that you have blind spots in yourself that you can actually work through and learn from 
and level up from. So that's number one, congratulate yourself. I know it is a weird mindset to have. How can you congratulate yourself on losing the woman that you love or going through such a hard time? But I want to change your mindset a little bit. Congratulate yourself that you're feeling these emotions. Welcome these emotions with open arms because this is the opportunity, this very moment you're watching this video, this is an opportunity for you to really dig into what the heck is going on with yourself. Number two, the blind spot that you're probably falling into is really important to bring some signs into it. And this is one that I really tell my clients and helps my clients really calm down a bit first, regulate their emotions a little bit more first, first and foremost, before achievements and change can happen, okay? Number two is you have to understand a breakup is a physical reaction. It's an attack to your entire world. You feel as though your entire shelter of who you are and how you're made up is completely at war with everything. And so it's a survival instinct that your body has created stress hormones to respond to what is happening. It is essentially a destruction of your inner being. Number two may basically focuses on that a part of you has been ripped away from you and you could not protect essentially something that was extremely sacred to you which was the breakdown of your relationship. And I understand that. But for the second point is you need to be aware that your body and mind is working together to actually protect you because the overthinking is a natural survival mechanism for you to try to solve issues. But first, right, you have to understand that a breakup does respond the same when it comes to feeling attacked, feeling going into survival mode, feeling like you have to protect um, every little piece of your life that you have left. And so just understand that you're going through an emotional and physical reaction. Number three is now that you understand you have to congratulate yourself, right? It's a rites of passage. You know this is almost a challenge for you to try to win and get over. That's checked off. Number two is you know your body is now responding to the environment and what has happened in a very stressful way. Your physical body is exerting hormones so that you can fight a war. After those two, are, you're aware of those two aspects. Number three is you have to differentiate between how you're actually responding. So many of the times, a lot of my clients, after going through therapy, this is a point in which they actually start therapy, they realize that it's not that they feel sad. It's actually rage, resentment, and anger that they feel, specifically because they feel like they were completely betrayed, disrespected with how things really, really ended. How could she sleep with someone right after we broke up? How could she leave me and give me no explanation or very minimal explanation? How could she leave 10 years of marriage and not even give me a chance or give us a chance to work through this? I completely understand. This response is normally based on not sadness, but it's based on rage and resentment and energy of pure fire. And what I want you to do and realize is that a lot of the times this rage and anger is creates energy that is used to tap on her socials and view her socials to see what's going on or look through pictures and see possibly when was the time that she thought about possibly breaking up with you or look past your history or text messages and try to pinpoint what signs did you miss that she was starting to pull away or showing signs that she was losing attraction for you. Your energy of rage and resentment, although it could be very much optimized if you were using it for the right purposes, you're currently using it for the wrong purposes. And so what I want to say is, number one, congratulations, you have hit the probably one of the biggest challenges in life. I want to congratulate you on this rites of passage. Let's see if you can pass it. Number two is your body is going through an extreme experience 
of hormones and physical pain. And number three is understanding that your rage and resentment could be used towards wasting your time and doing behaviors that is just not going to benefit you. So ending on this point, tip number three that I have is do not turn off this fire. Do not turn off your rage, resentment, and anger. Do not turn it off, but pinpoint whether or not the time used to optimize this newfound fire that you have in you, is it used and wasted in things that is just going to cause a cyclical cycle of a ne never-ending toxic cycle of you going in and digging your history, trying to get her jealous, trying to do no contact and get her back? Or is it really used towards really optimizing your own self and trying to prove to the world, to yourself and to her that her breaking up with you is her loss? But how do you really do that? Because many of the times you felt like right now you lost as a man. So you don't even believe in yourself. So you have to understand her leaving you some parts of that and how you're feeling right now, this rage and resentment is that you as a man feel kind of lost. So now is the perfect time for you to exert that energy, that rage, that resentment towards more productive activities, which is actually becoming the man that you never thought you could be. Number four is the least accepting one that takes a lot of emotional regulation, non-biased thinking for a lot of my clients. And many of the times, to be honest, in therapy, this causes the biggest resistance in my clients. Number four is really challenging yourself to see if you actually did wrong in the relationship or actually admitting that her leaving you could be some parts of it your fault. And what does this truly mean? And a lot of my clients really don't like hearing this, but I always tell my clients and every single one of my followers that I only stand by the truth and I only will work with those who really, really, really will be honest with what the heck is truly going on. So number four is many of the times when you're going through breakups, you'll have all this rage. It's this rites of passage that you don't know how to get through. It's your first time feeling like a failure or maybe the second or third time feeling like a failure. The worst thing you can do is blame everything on the woman or blame every single piece of the breakup on her and that you're completely fine and that you did no wrong. Number four is if you're telling me truthfully you're the saint and a good man that you did nothing wrong, you did nothing wrong, there are probably blind spots in your actions, your thoughts, and how you showed up into that relationship that has made her leave you. I'm not saying she could have been the worst of a person or a woman or the best of a woman, but every single person, the only way to truly move on and be unbreakable is start challenging every moving piece of what you thought you did wrong as a man. So you need to start that reflection process. Ask yourself, did you sit in your power as a man? Were you leading or authoritating? Were your boundaries too rigid? Was it too flexible? Do you even know what you truly want the relationship to be like? Or were you just reacting to her emotions and trying to keep the relationship balanced and sane every single day you wake up. So if there's no strategy when it comes to how you want the relationship to behave, and if a woman is throwing you red flags from early on, whether it be she's really insecure and you don't know how to handle that, or she's extremely, extremely demanding and you don't know how to handle that, 
There are accountabilities and points of responsibility that a lot of my clients, once they choose to accept to start reflecting on accountability, true, true change happens and better relationships are formed. So those are the four blind spots. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are truly looking for understanding what you need to do to get through this rites of passage, because to be honest, congratulations, you've went through your first or second heartbreak from a woman that you desperately, desperately, desperately wanted to keep. Welcome to the world of failure. I hope that you don't go through any more of them. But what this video does for a lot of my clients is essentially, if it does come again, how do you react better? And how do you ensure that the emotional triggers and the stresses is not as high? Make sense? So everything that I do is centered on control in yourself, your world, and your values as a man. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and comment down below what you thought about this video or what other topics you want me to discuss. A lot of the times, society tells you how a man should behave and how a woman should behave, but I try my best to close those gaps so that we understand how to create more unity between men and women because honestly, It's getting a little bit ridiculous. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. If you enjoyed our content, don't forget to follow us on TikTok and IG where we post daily and YouTube where we post weekly.